During this series, we're going to take a jet model that we designed for 3D print, add material to it, pull a render from it, and then animate it through a canyon. I hope you enjoy it. So with a little jet that I modeled and exported for 3D print, I'm going to go through how to add some materials to this jet to make it look a little bit more realistic. We're going to do this in a very simplified way. We'll stay in poly mode and we'll use this live selection tool to select polygons that we want to dump material onto. Just a reminder, you can adjust the size of the radius that you, uh, you're you using for the live selection tool. You can bump that down if you're having problems selecting polys. So, with the jet specifically, um, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these little polys that make up the cockpit here. So I'm holding shift and I'm clicking on these polys. If you accidentally grab a poly that you didn't want, uh, hold control on your keyboard and click it and it will deselect it for you. So again, holding option, kind of panning around, I have all of those selected. And rather than dumping material onto this cockpit and then selecting all of these, uh, these panels um, or polys for the rest of the, the ship, I'm going to invert the selection. So I'm going to go up to select, click invert, and now the rest of the ship is is selected and I can dump a material onto that. Now I could go down here and I could create some textures um, and use my material edi editor and change the colors and how things look and we'll save that for another uh, another project but we're gonna go into what's called the content browser so I click this little tab here and in the content browser uh, let me go back to the, the home of the content browser I can go through here and I can use uh, materials that are already set for me so a couple of uh, couple navigation concepts right here where it says presets if you get lost click that as a starting point and you do have some arrows here that will take you back through subfolders and you can uh, bump up one level there's a hierarchy for the folders and you can kind of navigate that way you can also do a, a search by clicking uh, the little magnifying glass and typing in something specific that you might want but again um, you can either use home or as I did click presets and I'm going to go down here to visualize and double click visualize and then in visualize you can see there's a subfolder for material so I'm going to double click that and I can scroll back and forth uh, up and down and I can see some different materials that I could use for my plane. So for the plane body itself, uh, I'm going to stick with, uh, with metal. Some other things that work really well are the, the car paint materials. Those are pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and make mine look uh, like, like metal. I would suggest clicking on a, th a few of these folders, scrolling up and down and trying to find a, a material that you think looks good. Drag that down into your uh, material manager down here and then you can drag that directly onto your model and as you can see it loaded onto all the polys that I had selected. So I can hit um, render view anytime I want to see how that's going to look if it were rendered and that looks pretty sweet so I'm just going to kind of go with it. So that did a lot of work for me having these uh, materials at my disposal in the content browser. So I'm going to just go ahead and add some material in a couple different spots. I'll go go back and select some glass. So let's say that I want this uh, this cockpit um, to have glass. So I'm going to go back and reselect that since it's just a, a few polys. Again, holding shift as I click through it and let's go into glass and see what's available. So there's quite a bit in here. Um, I'm going to go with just simple glass and I'll drop that in um, to my material manager, apply it, and let's go ahead and hit render and see how things look with that glass in there. And since it's clear, it's probably going to be pretty hard to see. All right, so it looks like um, looks like there's absolutely nothing there, which tells me the glass took. So that's good. And as I kind of pan around, you can see that those polys are pretty see-through. Um, let me just to demonstrate, pull down a I'll pull down a capsule just so we can see what that that's going to look like in there. Um, I could put a a human from the content browser in there or anything else that I wanted to. But let me just take that green mat. Oop. 
Okay, that's actually a good point. Rather than just kind of dragging around your materials and throwing them on there, make sure that you have whatever you want the material to be on selected. So I drop down that, that capsule. I'm actually going to drag this material up here um, to the capsule in the, uh, the objects manager. Now it's applied to the, the capsule. Um, and that's another reason that we have that undo button. So I'll hit preview again and see how things are looking and there should be a distorted view of this capsule because that glass actually kind of bends the light and everything and I'm, I'm pretty good with that. Now to, to help with the lighting I'm going to add one um, element to this. I'm going to use a, a physical sky. We'll be using that when we set up our scene but notice when I put the physical sky in and I hit render I'm going to get a much more realistic uh, view of this. There will be some shadows and a bunch of light bouncing off of uh, the plane itself and it'll just look much more realistic. And I actually really like that the look of that render. Just one quick life hack. We can go up here into uh, to the split screen up here in the upper right hand corner of your viewport and we can render a little bit faster um, since the uh, the image size is, is a little bit smaller in this perspective view. By the way, if you do get lost, that's a good way to, uh, to navigate through. You can see the top of your model here, the front, and the right side of it. And by clicking on those panels and hitting H on your keyboard, it will kind of center things up so that you can get a little bit different view of, of what you're working with. Um, so I'll go back to the model mode here really quick and click on subdivision surfaces and you can see that um, the model moves um, in each view that you're working with. So let me go ahead and uh, click back into that perspective view and just a couple of other things that, that we want to add to this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a material and I'm going to use luminance on it and just kind of brighten some things up with uh, with my thrusters. Again, you can go through the content browser and you can find some, some other materials to, to use, but I just want to see what I can get out of this. So I'll go back into poly mode and I'm going to select my cube. Make sure your cube's selected so that you can make selections on your plane. Just this back part of this and drag that material to it and hit a quick render and see what that looks like. That looks actually pretty cool, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. So if you do want to make your own materials, um, again you double click down here in the materials manager, and you can double click that material to make adjustments to it. And again, I just clicked uh, luminance to to kind of light it up, and we could change uh, the color of it. and adjust it in a lot of different ways. There's textures that you can add, so on and so forth, and we could get into that in other tutorials, but let me just go ahead and navigate around to the, the front, and I can click on those intakes, perhaps. Again, holding Shift on my keyboard, select those two, and I can drag this material up onto those two, and you can see that the tag just showed up there. So I'll get a, a quick render and see how things are looking. So take your time adding the materials that you think look good. If there's something that you don't like, you can always undo. You can change how the materials look by double clicking them down here in the manager and adjust them in the editor. Or if you want to get rid of something altogether, uh, let's say I don't like that, um, those, those intake areas, I can highlight this little tag up here, hit delete, and it'll just delete those off of there. Once you're finished, um, with, uh, with your material um, and your, your render. Perhaps you want to create a scene and I'm going to hold off on the, uh, the scene design until the, the next video. Have fun.